Okay, I'm here with another loco. Um, now this one I haven't actually got the box for anymore, so I just had to put it in a standard box. But I will explain to you which one it is. So, obviously, as we can see here, it is by Batman, and it is a class twenty. And this particular model is the DCC sound model. So you'll have to just ignore the DCC ready sticker, I'm afraid. So if we just take it out of the box, we can see there it says D8158. So if we just put that down and get out the 2010 catalogue. Now I know this model is in the 2011 one as well. So I'm just referring to this because it's in here. And as we can see there, it is there, D8158, as we can see. And it is DCC sound. So, that out of the way, let's take a look at it. So if we just turn it round, we can see we've got two holes on the back. So if we just slowly take it out. And it's just not wanting to come out. Oh, there we go. It's out. And here it is. Now, I have to say it has got quite a bit of weight to it. And it is such a stunning loco. Um, this was the first DCC sound model I ever had. So, this is what introduced me to the world of DCC. So let's take a close look at it. So, as we can see, it's D8158. Um, it's the Lake Crest, which is one of my favourites. But the detailing is absolutely superb on it. I mean, you've got etch and grill effects there. If we move further along, we can see we've got another grill effect. And some more here. And this is such a nice touch, we've got a metal handrail going all the way along the top edge there. Um, if we take a look at the front, we can see again it's just all metal handrail work all the way around it. Um, sprung loaded buffers, um, a NEM coupling on the front. Um, I have detailed little bits of it as you can see. Obviously the buffers are sprung. Um, now the only downfall is that this head code doesn't illuminate and it's got no lights. Um, it would have been nice with some lights. Um, I don't know whether Batman will ever get around to doing that but it would be amazing if they did. Um, but I don't think I'll be fitting lights to this model because it's, it was a bit too expensive to be drilling holes in. So I think we'll leave it as it is. So if we take a look again at the other side we can see it's the same quality all the way along and we've even got metal handrail cab doors there. Um, if we take a look at the back we can see again sprung loaded buffers and most of the detailing this time has been put on the back of the loco. Um, we've even got little wipers there as well. Um, if we take a look at the roof now we can see we've got a lovely etched grill effect for the fan. Um, I'm not too sure if you can see inside there but I think there's a little fan or no that's not the fan I think that's yeah that's the speaker. If you can just see as I turn it there's like a shape inside the fan that is a speaker so that's where the sound comes out of. Um, obviously we've got four wheels on either bogey on this particular model and we've even got the, I think it's called underfloor detailing or something like that but I think these are tanks or something um, but if you do know leave your comments below but that's it basically Batman Class 20 with DCC Sound